Sarah, I hope you're doing well. We are kind of at the end of summer, transitioning to fall. Did you get to go to the beach this summer? When you were there, did you see any crabs? I saw some crabs at the beach this summer. Uh, today, we are going to read a story about clumsy crab. And then I thought we'd go upstairs and take a look at some special crabs that we have on display for our object of the month. So you can come see them at the museum. So we are going to read Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. Nipper the crab hated his huge clumsy claws. No matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus and jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle and the fish. One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. What do you think's gonna happen if the crab catches the bubble? Pop! His clumsy claws burst the bubble. They couldn't play that game anymore, so they played tag instead. Nipper scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Whoa! Nipper slipped and stumbled and tripped and tumbled until he was buried up to his eyes in the sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nipper climbed into a big clam shell and pulled it shut. It was a perfect hiding place until smash! Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch, he cried to help. Jellyfish picked up the pieces of the shell if I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything, and I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide, and you can find us. Nipper counted to ten, then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand and found turtle. He searched under the shells and found jellyfish. He searched up and down, in and out, and all around the rocks, but he couldn't find octopus anywhere. Suddenly, everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Help! Octopus squirmed and squiggled and wriggled and jiggled. Turtle and jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. Do you think he can help? Nipper sniffed at the seaweed with his claws. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping flipping and clapping. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper, you're a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. The end. Nice listening. I hope you enjoyed that story. Why don't we go upstairs and take a look at the
those crabs. Come on. Let's go up these stairs and see if we can find those crabs on display this month. Hi, bear. Whoa, those are some cool crabs. There's some really big ones. And some little ones too. If you get to the beach, See if you can find some crabs. I don't know if we'd find any quite that big, but you never know. Maybe you could draw a picture of a crab. All right, thanks for stopping by today. You should come to the museum and see these crabs if you can. Hope to see you soon.